like that. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I'm obviously the biggest fool going. Karen. Hi, uh, can I talk to you for a second? Karen, uh, Karen hi. Uh, this is Marty and, and, and Elaine. You told Leo? No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. So don't okay. lie to me. All right, okay. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll be right back. You think about the extended warranty. Okay. What, what are you talking about? Well, how could you tell him? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I uh, look, you know, don't, don't you realize what it was? I'm, I'm another notch under your belt? Look, Karen, you left your sweater in the kitchen, man. He knew you were there. Yeah, so what did you do? You, he, he came in and you said, you know, Karen dropped by and I boxed her ass. Oh, geez. Yeah, I mean, it's not like that. You don't realize the implications of this. Don't you realize it's all that meaningless to you? No, I told him because it meant so much. That's why I told him. I told him because he's my best friend and I had to tell somebody. You know, I told him because ever since it happened, you know, and ever since I met you and the... It's just... So over. That's why I told them. I guess this no longer fits into the category of one slip up, so. I mean, it's not. <laughs> it's, this is rope, is it sanitary? <laughs> I mean, that's my lucky robe, you know. Take it easy. Okay. okay. Uh, I have to use the little girl's room. Do you think I'm safe? Yeah. married and, and, he, and he has two kids, so somebody here has to have a moral code, right? Right, right. Okay, then why, since I told him that it's not going to happen, do I feel like I've given up some incredible opportunity? Because maybe you did. Oh, God, Karen. What? He's married. He <sighs> told her he was married. Yeah. All right, what the hell is going on here? I called you two here to discuss my professor situation, and, and I'm getting nothing here. What's going on? Nothing. Yes, something is going on. Come on, you guys, please. I, I really need your advice. Jennifer, I think it's great that you didn't do anything. I think it's mature, and I think it's the best thing for you. I mean, you're right. You're right, because I, I so do not need adultery right now. Exactly. Right? Isabel, I know what you're doing, what? all right? Just stop it, okay? What, do you think I, I'm happy about what I did? You oh, think I don't know what was it, wrong? Okay? No, forget it. Do you think it. I want to have an extramarital affair? Is oh, that what you think I want? No one forced you to have an yeah. affair with Doug. No one forced you to fall in love with Everett's dog. All right, guys, time out. What is what? going on here? I can't believe you're equating yeah. my thing for Eliza, Eliza with you sleeping with, with Who Doug? is Eliza? Look, just, d damn it, Isabel. What is my life, okay? It's my life. What do you think? I don't feel terrible about what I did. I do, okay? I, it's wrong. I know it. All right? But at least, at least I feel something. At least I feel alive. Which is better than going through my life asleep. You don't understand, do you? How bad things are. Hi there. What is that? Wait, 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 you're angry at me? You know what? Um, this is my room. Okay, so... No, no, see, I find that very interesting. I find that very interesting that you're having an extramarital affair with my girlfriend's sister, and you're angry at me. Wow. You know what? I never did like your self-righteous side, and I really don't like it now, so I'll tell you what. Why don't you take off? I'll finish my sandwich. No, why don't you just come on? I'm kind of curious how you're angry at me. Maybe you could tell me. You really want to know? Yeah. You really want to know. Okay, let me try to explain it to you. Okay? I've known you for 17 years, Leo. 17 years, right? Through every complicated moment of your life, right? Every time you were, you know, diddling one chick while you were seeing another and still kind of flirting with the third. Every time you've screwed up of which there have been countless times that I never once, I never once betrayed the trust between us. 
you know? Because that meant something to me. It really did, you know? But I, I see that that's a one-sided thing now, which is fine, you know? That's fine. It is what it is. All right, so we should just leave it at that. But, you know, God, how dare you lay in the me? I mean, with, listen, it's... You know what? Just shut the door. You just try to think about it or something, you know? Jennifer? Can I talk to you for a sec? Sure. I, uh, I just wanted to thank you. What for? Well, for what you said, your honesty. You're right, I, I've never done this before, and I, I'm glad you stopped it. I, I don't think I would have had the strength to. Um. So, um, it just shows what a special person you really are. I should go.